Hello and welcome to my training. My name is Chuck Holmes. I'm a former Army Major. I'm the founder of PartTimeCommander.com. In today's video, I'd like to discuss the Army Reserve Components Achievement Medal, also known as the RCAM. The Army Reserve Component Achievement Medal was established by the Secretary of the Army in 1971 and amended by DA General Orders in 1974. It is awarded for exemplary behavior, efficiency, and fidelity while serving as a member of an Army National Guard unit or United States Army Reserve Troop Program Unit, TPU, or as an individual mobilization augmentee, IMA. So just to summarize this real quick, it's for Army Reserve, National Guard, and IMA members, not active duty, not Marines, not Air Force, not Coast Guard. The first design bears the inscription United States Army Reserve, and the other design bears the inscription Army National Guard. The RCAM is authorized for award to Army personnel in the rank of Colonel and below. Individuals must have been a member of an ARNG unit or a USAR TPU. The medal is also awarded to USAR soldiers serving as IMA after completing qualifying service and on recommendation of the unit commander or headquarters Department of the Army official to which the IMA is assigned. AGR soldiers and officers are not authorized the award of the RCAM. They would get the Good Conduct Medal instead. The approval authority. Approval authority for the award for National Guard M-Day units and USAR TPU units is the company commander. It's the lowest level commander that the soldier is in. Approval authority for the award of the RCAM to USAR IMA soldiers is the personnel office for the unit where the IMA soldier is assigned. Orders not published for the award of this medal. RCAM approval is announced using an official memorandum. The records custodian will annotate the soldier's records and place the memorandum in the soldier's OMPF via IPERMS. So you're not going to have a DA-638 with an award citation. It's going to be a memorandum for record. The RCAM is applicable to Army Reserve component soldiers during times of peace and war. However, during periods of war, the length of qualifying service is subject to change at the discretion of the Secretary of the Army. So this is the eligibility criteria. There's two different criteria. The, initially, from March 1972 to March 1995, the award was authorized on completion of four years of service with a reserve component unit. A qualifying year of service is one in which a reserve soldier earns a minimum of 50 retirement points during their retirement year. Qualifying service for computation purposes is based only by retirement ending year dates. So if you join the military in June on the 10th, your retirement year would go from June 10th of this year till June 10th of next year. Starting in 1995, the period of qualifying service for the award of the RCAM was reduced from four years to three years. So the first 23 years, you had to do four years. Starting in 1995, you had to do three years of qualified service to be considered for it. Some real quick additional information. Service performed in the reserve components of the U.S. Air Force, Navy, Marine Corps, or Coast Guard cannot receive this award. Release from the Army Reserve component status for entry into the service as a cadet or a midshipman at any U.S. service academy or discharge from the Army Reserve component for immediate entry into the regular Army in an officer or enlisted status is considered termination of service for the purpose of qualifying for the RCAM. Remember, it's only for Reserve and National Guard soldiers. Finally, service while in an enlisted AGR status may not be credited towards the award of the RCAM. Reserve component soldiers who service qualifies them for an award of the Army Good Conduct Medal are not eligible for the award of the RCAM. So if you're a supply sergeant and you're on AGR status, you're going to qualify for the Good Conduct Medal, not the RCAM. In conclusion, the RCAM is for members in the Army National Guard and Army Reserve. It's the equivalent of the Active Duty Good Conduct Medal. It's only for Army personnel, not the Marines, Air Force, Coast Guard, etc. What now? Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. That'll help our channel out a lot. Also, click on that notifications bell so you don't miss out on any important updates. You can check out the links and the resources in the description box below this video for more information about this topic. 
Be sure to check out my other videos too. You can visit my website at parttimecommander.com. We have resources, tools, and information for soldiers, NCOs, officers, veterans, and dependents serving in the Army National Guard and Army Reserve. Thanks for stopping by and thanks for your service. Have a great day.